Hi guys, this is a pretty short offering, very little shop time, uh, a bit like some other people have had experiencing extreme temperatures, silly temperatures plus humidity, not very easy to cope with, plus my other limiting factors. <laughs> so I haven't been out here very much but a uh, couple of things I decided to do to the oil pot, one of which included a bit of bozo, can't help that now. So I just showed what I did with that and a few other odds and ends and that's about it really. So I don't know what I shall use for a title. Anyway, um, I like many, I think it peaked at over 200, watched the uh, streaming video for the Bar Z Bash. Very, very good. <laughs> Boy did I ever wish I was there. But uh, it looked like a fantastic event. Uh, the streaming video, thanks to Tom Z and uh, David operating a camera, was absolutely brilliant. Quite how Stan managed all the preps and breaking down after, I don't know. Poor guy must be exhausted. <laughs> Although he looks alright since he's done a fresh video. Anyway, that's it. Um, not sure what I get for shop time and I've got a damn fly buzzing around. So something else will occur at some point when I manage it. <laughs> if it's a bit longer, don't panic. I'll be back. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching. See you before too long, I hope. Bye. I had a couple of uh, comments when I put the video up on the oil pot. Um, one of them I'm going to try and implement and I don't know whether it will work. Here's the cap and I've got my Nerla set up. I've got a piece of whatever it is, inch and a half, which had been turned down. It's got a thread on it and I put a whole bunch of, well, two turns of painter's tape and pushed this on with quite some difficulty. Whether it will hold enough, I do not know. I might potentially be going to ruin it, but I'm going to see if I can get just a very light neural to make it easier to hold. Let me just get this uh, set up here. I've started a... actually there's a load of oil on these wheels from last time. plus an oversized shim washer that is running off centre. Well, I'm getting some null. These aren't the right size wheels. And I started light, which means I get a slight double cut, but it does finish up as effectively a fine no. I'm not over centre yet but the uh, cap is not as yet turning. Let me have a look here. You won't be able to see much that's going on here. Yeah, now it's slipping. So it may be time to call it a day. However, it's not quite what I would like It's close and I think we've got a chamfer here. What I would have done originally 
would have been to reduce the diameter here so we get a better edge to the knurl. So I think it's, oh, it is beginning to slip. I'm going to push it on a bit more, get a better grip, and then I'm going to take a very light cut across there. I've repacked the painter's tape. I'm hoping there's enough grip for a super light cut. And take the handle out of the spindle. It should be a very good idea. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. I'm going to set the cross slide stop and advance on the compound to get my touch off. Right, I'm going to take one more light pass come back to get a bit more chamfer just on the edge of the knurl. Uh, <clears throat> I've just come back with a super light cut and into the knurl. It's a very small knurl but unfortunately I didn't think of doing it earlier so this is a bit of a cheat and the only other thing I need to do here is uh, just touch for the chamfer on that. Okay, that's tight, but it just held. So, and that's in focus, I've got to clean the inside. Yeah, got a slight mark on that edge too, which I, <laughs> this is the fun thing with aluminum. You actually absolutely touch a surface on something else and you get a mark. Yeah, I can feel it and see it. Never mind. At least there's a bit of grip there, although that knurl is very fine. Not, I mean, actually, it's not too bad, considering, <laughs> as an afterthought. And I think, I forgot who mentioned about knurling on the cap, but uh, Kel Sorensen mentioned about the uh, air pressure with regard to both filling and also with use. The air's got to get either out or back in, which rather stupidly I hadn't thought of. So I've got a 332 stub in here. I thought, well, shall I put in a, you know, a really, really tiny hole? And I thought, no, that won't let the air in and out quick enough. And I don't want to go up as big as an eighth, so uh, it's going to mar the appearance just a little bit, but I think functionally it's necessary. Maybe I wasn't quite far enough in from the edge. It should be. I'll check that. Just put a light down and see. Oh, uh, well, Bozo got me. Uh, I kept on drilling with that hole. And uh, I was down... As far as I remember, the top thickness here is only about you know, about 332. 
I'll just check what depth I did have. Yeah, as I thought, I was well down below what that wall thickness should be. So, a bit of bozo. That's annoying. But maybe whoever sees it later will think, oh, there are two holes there for a reason. <laughs> well, there are, but not quite the proper reason. I'm going in 110 thou. Right, well that was through, which is what the first one should have been. Oh dear, oh dear. Anyway, that should let the air out. Well, there's going to be some serious reflection here. <laughs> there are my two holes. Stupid man. I'd forgotten my wall thickness, which I think I mentioned. So one hole doesn't do much, the other one's doing what <laughs> what was intended. Um, I've still got to do a final buffing. I'll do that a bit later. But I have repolished this, and that makes the cap, now with its mini knurl, goes on much better and I think I'll possibly not drill a hole for a brush I'll leave that to the new owner they can uh, put a hole in that for a brush if they want for the time being it's just something to put over the top when it's not in use all right so that's the little tweak, including Bozo. <laughs> well, I've joined the big Nova Noga Club. This is actually 15033, which has got uh, the eighth is against the metric. And I've got a fairly nice indicator that fits there. Plus I've got the dovetail when I need it. I've already got a mini Noga, which I use on the mill. But every time I've seen Adam and others using their full-size Noga, I think, oh, I've got to get one. Pretty damn expensive, but having got my uh, PayPal credit paid up, I put it on there. So it's round about 100 bucks. I've seen them more expensive than that. So, spoiling myself. Got given a box with some bits. Most of it's pretty old. So in fact, some's very old. Here's an old style chuck. And it's very, very tight. I put a bit of oil on. I think this goes up to probably half an inch. See how pitted it is. I think it's had a clean up, not to mention wrench marks. Whether it's any good, I don't know. It's on a number one Morse. Uh, very old style. It's actually too tight to get the jaws coming in. But a smaller version here, this one seems to be fairly smooth, and you, you can you can see the jaws on that one. It'll take uh, probably up to three eighths. Got a screw missing. Same design as the big one. Again, heavily pitted. Whether it'll have any use, I'm not sure. But to me, these are very old style. Very old. This was something that somebody had made. It's an arbor to take something half inch. On a number two Morse. 
thread it into this piece. Maybe that arbor could be useful. <clears throat> I'm not sure what that uh, what that thread is actually. That's uh, inch and an eighth by something pretty coarse. I guess the arbor could be useful and make other things for it. Anyway, that's just for holding a half inch tool or something. But this is rather nice. This is made by Marvel. Hoping I'm staying in focus here. British made Marvel number 10202 I'm not sure about the zero, it's probably 1 eighth to 3 eighth, but that's on a two mores. And you might just see inside the jaws are disappearing inside. Let's do it up again. There you, are, you can see that it's not exactly zero, but <laughs> I expect that at old an eighth. Got to check this for concentricity, see if it's going to be of use. I, I did actually try. I did put a centre drill in there. Maybe keep it set up just for the centre drill. Anyway, just some interesting bits maybe. Just a quick footnote. <laughs> it's the next day and I just realised I'd just gone past the 8,000 subscribers. 8k, amazing. So I just putting this on the end of the video just to say a big thanks to uh, all who have subscribed. Uh, I don't think I ever actually mention in my videos please subscribe, I just leave it up to those who think they'd like to. And uh, to get to 8k for, for this old man is pretty impressive. Multiply that by one order of magnitude and you're up to someone like Adam Booth, but uh, I'm very happy with that 8K. It's brilliant, so thanks to all. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching.